It's Sunday. We decided to come out and get some lunch with Dan and Lindsay. Hi. But we couldn't film inside the restaurant because they play music real loud, and I can't, I can't do that. So we had to film outside of it. And this is that. <laughs> okay. Yum. Well. Bye. There's something I just can't reconcile with the cats. And that is the fact that, for whatever reason, they are convinced that Mallory has never fed them. Nope, never. Ever. Never fed them. Now why this is, I have no idea. All I know is that I will be upstairs, and I'll be working on something, and as it gets a little closer to mealtime, the cats will show up in the room, and they'll be rubbing around my my legs, they'll be jumping up on stuff, they'll be meowing, they'll be doing all this stuff, but they will never bother Mao. Why? I have no idea. The cats spend a lot of their time down here, they're physically closer to Mao. Why they won't bother her, I don't know. In fact, there's some times where I'll keep my door closed, Mao has hers open, and the cats will sit outside of my door, and they'll never go bother her. Why? I have no idea. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Why do you do this? Do you know? Why do you think that I'm the only person that feeds you? We both feed you. Equally. Why did... <sighs> I don't know. And like, it's fine. It's just strange. It's been going on for a while and I've noticed it. And I'm like, you know that she feeds you, right? Like, you can bother her. And they're like, no, it's impossible. You're the only person that's fed us. She's never fed us before. Who is she? Where did she come from? We're going to camp outside your door and meow. Anyway, for the most part, we do good about like keeping them on a, a rough schedule. Um, whenever my uh, parents were taking care of them, obviously, they're not on the exact same schedule. Our cats are, I would say, spoiled, but it's not really spoiled. It's not necessarily spoiled. It's just that they whine if they don't have it this way. They're fed four times a day. Um, and it's not that they, that they get a ton of food. It's just a normal amount of food, but split into four different meals. Um, from talking with other people, friends, and people on the internet, it seems like most cats, most pets, I think, in general, get fed twice a day, like in the morning and at night. Um, and uh, maybe you can trust your cat enough to leave dry food out. Um, ours can't do that. Well, Sagan can't do that anymore. But even Kepler, I think, would gorge himself, so it wouldn't really work. But um, yeah, they have to be fed four times. Uh, it never used to be like that, but we would feed them, you know, half of their, their food in the morning, and then the after, like, late afternoon would roll around, and they would just be, like, completely uh, inconsolable. Like, just they had to be fed. And I'm like, okay, here's your second meal. And then they'd be like, later, before bed, they'd be like, we've never seen food before. So now we've just split it into four meals and it gets them through the day and we have a lot less whining. But still, to some small degree, some whining. Anyway, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I've been throwing myself at, uh, at vlogs and I've been accomplishing so much. It might not mean anything now that you're watching this in this moment in time, but like for 10 days straight, I think, I've released three vlogs a day, which means I've covered an entire month's worth of vlogs in a short amount of time. I'm very proud of it, and I'm going to continue to do that because I desperately need to catch up. Let's be back tomorrow, shall we?